Here's a good question. Jimmy asked, what's a good determining factor to identify a bed as a night bed? Mm, that is a really good question. So um, uh, from my perspective, I always envision night beds, and there's a lot of truth to this, um, as beds that are out in open grass, um, places that where the sun would shine on these deer. They're real close to feeding areas on top of feeding areas. They're kind of random. However, when I started doing trail cam camera studies about, uh, uh, I think one, I want to go back about eight or 10 years ago, I found some really good bedding areas uh, that baffled me. You'd hunt them and you'd never see the deer and stuff. And we started running cameras and some of those to just see what's going on when you're not there. What's going on here? What am I missing? And we started finding out that there were night beds. And even though they were worn out beds up against a tree, set up perfectly, you know, set up to watch for incoming stuff, sometimes they look like killer bed setups. It's uh, mm -hmm. it, can be, it can be confusing. But generally, what I have found is the night beds are really close to the food source. Um, maybe even watching it, right? Um, and some of those ones that are really close like that are night beds and day beds. They bed there both. Um, a lot of times, um, bucks will flop down right into food in bed. But some of them will go take secure bedding. I guess it probably matters if they're just laying down because they're tired of walking and want to chew their cud or if they're laying down because they're tired and they're, you know, right. they need directions while they're, they're resting. So, um, uh, not to confuse anybody, most of the time it is kind of random beds around food sources, like in high grass or, you know, the edge yeah. of the field or you know, usually, usually they're real close to food right where they eat. So what a night bed is, is, I mean, they go to a food source, they rapidly eat, they fill their, their first stomach chamber up or whatever, and they have to lay down and they regurgitate that, cough it up, rechew it and get, get it finer, swallowed again to, the, to, I believe, the next chamber in their mm -hmm. stomach. And uh, they have to do that by laying down. So it's usually right next to food. And it's usually a brief bed that they just lay there for a short time period. So they don't really get worn in or anything. However, I just wanted to make the point that I have found out that some of them do get worn in and some of them do look like um, really good bedding areas, um, contrary to what you might think. Yep. What I haven't found is like night beds in the middle of a swamp way back, you know, a mile yeah. from food or on an island or, you know what I'm saying? That's not to say they don't night bed on islands, like if they're eating acorns on there. But then yep. they're David in there too, you know. If you want to watch another video, click right here. But don't forget to subscribe before you leave. <laughs>